Hi, I'm Jia. Today I'm going to show you how to choose rain dye. When you plan to replace your original dye for pellet mill, are you concerning about which rain dye is suitable for your material? And you may have no idea how to choose the proper rain dye. The rain dye can be very different from different material formulations. And uh, even a little change in pitch can lead to totally different extrusion effect. This is a 420 pallet mill 3D model and uh, this is a rain dye. Now open his drawing. You may know normally there are three sides of this dye. The tip hole, the straight hole, the release hole. The tip hole we also call it a trumpet hole. The release hole diameter is 12 mm. The length is 27 mm. The street hole diameter is 10 mm. The length is 43 mm. The tip hole diameter is 13 mm. The length is 5 mm. The tip hole and the street hole, these two parts, we call it effect length. The length of this die is 48 mm. The effect length divided by the diameter of, of street hole. That is a compression ratio. The compression ratio of this star is 4.8. Almost all pellet mill die use this structure design. This is a 350 Rinda pallet mill drawing. The structure is the same. Uh, 
and uh, this 550 flat da pallet mill drawing. The structure is similar, but some flat die design is uh, effective. This flat die, the front sides and the back side also can be used. The compression ratio is different from different material. For sawdust material, the compression is normally between 4.8 to 6.2 of rain dust. For straw material, the compression is normally between 4.2 to 4.5 of rain dust. Normally, there is a mark on the rain dust from different company. The compression ratio is 4.8 of this dust. Of course, if you contact us, we will definitely offer your best solutions. The contact number is as follows. Thank you. See you next time.